How's it going everyone? This is Amask and I'm back on Pokemon Revolution Online once again with the team built around Scrafty. I used Aurora Wheel team with Scrafty previously and it did not work out well at all. <laughs> but I'm here today and I feel like this team has has what it takes to be to win us some games for a good video. <laughs> yes, I so I decided to switch some I mean I went for a more of a balanced approach and I switched uh, moves on Scrafty 2 and I put Life Orb instead of Lumberry and yeah they didn't really test the team at all same as previous one but I hope that this works out kind of made a uh, by check I kind of made this team by looking at the, what we need to counter and what are uh, I mean certain Pokemon so I hope this works well and here I have a Moxinia Scrafty, same as before, with Life of instant of Lumberry, of course, at the set I have found earlier. And now I have High Jump Kick instead of Drain Punch because, as you know, we were not able to <laughs> kill Pokemons in Drain Punch. It was not doing a damage, at a good amount of damage. As you know, we struggled with Alomomola a lot <laughs> in the previous video. That's why I have High Jump Kick. I think Drain Punch is not much of a necessary move on this Pokemon if it is able to get like get two or three KOs for us with after plus after plus two then I mean it's great we can sweep with other five Pokemons we have yeah and high jump kick will for sure help us to do that because I mean if there's huge amount of damage difference then I have knockoff which is the only uh, best uh, dark type stab move knocking off items of any Pokemon is just great and then I switched ice punch to poison jab because we can still damage the uh, Andros and Garchomp and Gliscor in Hygem Kick or Knockoff, but Pokemon fairy types like Clef is not is does just both of his stab moves. That's why uh, Poison Jab, so we can kill our Magic Guard Clef after plus two in like Poison Jab with Life Orb. Unaware we have to switch against Unaware, but uh, any other fairy type other than Clef, it will help us in that too. Then. I have a Nidog Scarf Nidoking as I said, we need something for fairy types and if someone brings an away clef then we need something to check it that's why I have Scarf Nidoking, I mean not for fairy types, it's, this Pokemon is just a power, overall powerful Pokemon with its great move pool as you can see and with Sludge Wave 1 power Ice Wave Flamethrower, poor special attack with huge coverage, Flamethrower for Parathons, this is all Ice Wave for Landros, Gachom because we are Scarf, we are most probably going to outspeed outspeed those Pokemons unless they are also scrapped and Earth Power and Sludge Wave are just two stab moves. I am max speed, max attack, max speed, max special attack but unfortunately my Nito King is not able to outspeed and mega, max speed mega Latazam with the scarf. It does but my is not able to because mine is not 28 speed I wish. Yeah, it's bad but well I have to, <laughs> I have to use it. I don't Choice. That's why I mean, I don't really use scarf networking, that's why I didn't give a thought while catching it. But yeah, it's bad. Then I have a Mega Latios. You don't usually see this Pokemon in PvP. The most more popular one is Mega Latias, and Mega Latias is better because of its bulk. But I really like this set of Latios. Which is Psychic, Ice Beam, Earthquake and Recover, 3 attacks and recover with max speed and max special attack. After Mega Evolving, as I mean its special attack is really high, that's why Psychic, just a main stab move to kill Caldeo or Medicham or any Pokemon like that, just to damage any Pokemon. And with Ice Beam is a great alternative for Dracometer because it hits Dragon types super effectively and gives provides much more coverage than Dracometer and we don't have to worry about special attack drops from Dracometer too. Earthquake is just a move for Heatrans which blocks both of its moves, stab moves and even Ice Beam and maybe Magnezone which also blocks both of its stab moves and Ice Beam. That's why I have Earthquake. I'm timid so I, I don't think it will really one hit kill them but damaging them or weakening, weakening them or even um, killing them from some range is fine. Is fine and recover is just for recovering our health because this Pokemon can switch on to Caldeo. That's why I have recovered to recover our health. Even Medicham if it if it doesn't click Ice Punch. 
then I was bold Zapdos, which is my defogger for the team, the standard set which I always use, bold switch heatwave defog roost with enough speed to beat adamant by sharp, static bold with rocky element. And then I have a chopper berry ferathon, a sassy, fully special defensive chopper berry ferathon because I fit as I said earlier, my Nido King is not able to outspeed uh, Alakazam, that's why I have Chuckle Berry, so we can cripple it with T-Wave on its Focus Blast, Survive 1 Focus Blast for Alakazam or even Pokemon like Keldeo, uh, Gengar or any other Lopunese High Jump Kick, survive that due to Chuckle Berry, cripple them with T-Wave or just kill them with Power Wave if they are in reach. And still throw can least hit the standard moves on Paragon. Finally, I have a Ballet Drama Zumaril. I was kind of really in a, a dilemma on for the last slot, but I decided to put this Pokemon because we lack we lack uh, sweepers in this team because Crafty it is not a great sweeper unless it is able to get plus two. Some Pokemon still survive its move. For example, is Abdos. Even after plus two, you can't kill us bold Abdos. That's why I have Zumaril. So if we are able to get a Ballet Drum, we are for sure to get rid of two Pokemons at least. Not Bull Zapdos. Bull Zapdos still is a problem, but I guess we have Nido King and Latios for that. I mean, Latios is just a great switch in against Zapdos and we can just kill it in Ice Beam. Yeah, so I have Belly Drum, Echo Jet, Knock of Flare Up with Jolly, so we are as fast as possible because Belly Drum will, will at the end increase our attack. And and yeah, and with Citrus Berry, we can pick our health, which we lose due to Bellator. And this is the score, and let's just grab some games. Last time I left at 1.10, and I, and I lost 3 matches, 3 battles after that, and now I'm at 73. Which is really, really bad, but I guess it is what it is. And I hope we get to see some knockouts and switch with Scrafty, from Scrafty, I guess. And here we found our first opponent and he's a Sun Team user, okay. Uh, hitting with the... Nido King is actually really good. Because... Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I can just click Sludge Wave because... Uh, everything... It hits neutrally to everything and this will take huge amount of damage too. Heat wave does not won't of course it burns us, but it's fine. We does do not have a special attack in our or physical attack in our arsenal. Zapdos should get knocked out here. Yep. Nope, it did not and we lose lost our Nido King. Dude, what the heck? And here, I for sure don't want him to go, go Weavile and just trap me with Pursuit. I guess Zapdos is a better play. Yeah, thought so. Okay, now we can just uh, heat wave because we for sure will survive an Icicle Crash, Ice Punch for sure. It gets Rocky Helmet Chip, no Paralysis unfortunately, Life Pop, great, it gets knocked out in Heat Wave, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Weavile gone, which is really great because now, now Latios is free to do what it does best, that is knocking out Pokemon. I mean Torkoal, Charizard, Conkildon, Latios is, Latios, Latios will roll here. I can just hold switch, it is Y for sure, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have sagged my Zapdos and went into Latios. Yeah, I should have done that. I'm, I'm stupid, I'm really, really stupid. But it's fine, I guess. Gonna Mega Evolve here. Gonna click uh, Ice Beam on his uh, switch into Shift Tree. Okay, he sagged Zapdos. Good play there, good play there. I thought he might double to Shift Tree. Didn't realize they, that he had a sack in the back. Yep, goes into Shifty. Shift tree. And I think I can still Ice Beam it because I will not die in Dark Pulse. No way I die in Dark Pulse. Yeah. Oof. But I got clinched. Of course.
here i guess i can just uh, get my stealth rock up now i don't have any switch in on charizard why the sun faded so i guess i can go my azumarill on the flame thrower yeah good and he will for sure switch have wanna click uh, belly drum really badly ah, i'm gonna go for it yep he switch to his star coal okay will text take still frog damage got the belly drum off now we get rid of this star coal once and for all conqueror it wait a sec yeah but i don't think i will get uh, get knocked out in mark punch it's not even burned that's why i played up this fine yep actually he should have gone into his ship tree because it resists my aqua jet i don't know why he did that here i can just click aqua jet and damage it Yep. Oh, that was great. If sun wasn't up, it should have died. Here I go, my Ferrothorn. Click T wave against Charizard, so my Scrafty is faster than it. Wait, he's just sacking his Shifty. Oh, I guess gotta click DC. Nope, he did not switch. Still. Nasty plot, okay. This should get knocked out. Yep, and I we win with Latios. This should be game, man. Yep, good game, good game, and it was a really great game. We got to, we did not get to see Scrafty, unfortunately, but Tati was really good there. It survived Dark Pulse, but unfortunately got flinched. But Azumarill, the MVP of the game, knocked out three Pokemon's, and yeah, and I think I'll be back up. I'll be back later, and we'll continue our games then. Six and a half hours later. So I'm back and let's just continue our games. In the last game, Azumarill did a great job. And, I mean, Nido King did. I mean, Scrafty wasn't able to do much. And here we found our opponent, and he's using an Alomomola. And this is the same guy we fought, I think, in the last. Or I, I don't know, but I do have fought this guy earlier. So let's just see what we can do. Uh, I kind of want to lead with Parathon as he leads with his Landorus, so it's good. I can just go ahead and click. He seed, I guess. He has hammer arm, but I'm chopper berry. The speed fell. He will give me some amount of health, I guess. And I think he might click hammer arm again, or he might even switch into lopani. Haven't really seen hammer arm or ladders. I mean. It learns even learns super power too, but hammer arm okay, ready. But here he goes into his uh, manaphy, which gives us a chance to volt switch easily as he decides to ice beam, and that did that was a great, great, very unfortunate. But here I can just go again into my parathon 
and I guess just get my stealth rock up. So there is remains pressure on his team. As it turns out that it is rest. And here I can just click a T seed on any switch in, I guess Lopani probably. Okay, Rotom, good. I know that this is a trick Rotom. So I can go my Lati. Yep, he decides to trick and got caught in it. I can Mega Evolve and I guess he won't stay in for sure. I guess I can go. Uh, Alumumala still a threat. Pero, I guess. I don't think he will stay in. Yep, goes Tansy. Good, good, good. I can just click T wave on his, I guess, Lopani switch. Okay, he decides to wish up. Alright, and I think I should click power up so that he does not go into his rotom. This should get tired because it's not gold. Yep, rotom gets knocked out. Great. So now his uh, the volt and core has been disturbed. Only volt switch Pokemon that was Rotom is gone. That is great. Here comes the Lopni. My Zapdos is damaged. That is bad. But I guess I don't have a switch. That crit really hurt. I mean, it was so bad. But I guess, come on, click fake out, please. <laughs> Click take out and get paralyzed and, and they take. Come on. Nope, ice punch it is and uh, no static paralyze, unfortunately. Gonna go Nido King. As I am scarfed, just gonna click a uh, Ludge Wave. As he decides to sack his Lopni, that is actually pretty good. Now, I mean, my Ferrothon is very, very free. Chansey, Allo, Momola, Ferrothon can take care of those and Manaphy, yep. Ferrothon can take care of that as well. I just have to scout for Landrus, which should not be a problem because wait, his Manaphy is sleep, sleeping. Why did he, he do that? Come on, please, Manaphy, don't wake up. Oh, Chestoberry, damn. What the heck, dude? Did not expect that coming. But I guess I can double do my Scrafty here on the predicted fancy switch. No pick like rest. Actually, it's pretty good. I click Dragon Dance. He could click Hammer Arm, so I want to go into my Lati. No, U turns out. Okay. Dude, U turn just killed me. Is he using some bandit or something? What the heck? Uh, Manaphy is sleeping, right? This is the perfect chance to get a Pelitrum off, and he decides to switch into Alomomola. And I believe that Alomomola should die in one, one player. I mean, it's a Pelitrum, come on. It's a huge power, Azuma. There's no way they survive, right? No, I mean, there's no way. Yep, and this looks like a Azumarill sweep to me because Landrus just dies in Echo Jet, Tensi just dies in any move. Yep, and if he's sleeping, so can't he can't really do anything. He used up his Chestoberry. That was really good tech, actually. 
chest of very manapi with breast i like that i mean he clearly got me with that and this sh- could get knocked out in play up unless it book the first turn which i think it should not yeah but he if he has tail glow then i think he won't knock us out anyway in surf and ice beam yeah when if he gets knocked out here and chancy will get knocked out in any move he will knock off and we do have a craft in the back even a parathon in the back so yep gg crazy azumarill sweep unfortunately still we did not get to see the crafty sweep which we want to see because he has an alomomola i mean that pokemon is so scary <laughs> it's so annoying crafty can do any damage to it i guess we can just move on and uh yep grab another game and we instantly got our opponent he is using uh, aerodactyle but it does not look like an acho team to me probably azumarill could be belladrum and i feel like uh, getting latis could be good uh, or i guess zapdos and bull switch out on the aerodactyle yep he might taunt me so that's good up nope, clicks decides to rock slide should not take us out yep it did uh, quite a amount of damage though here i can just go my nido king and click uh click ice beam i guess so he can go his landros next turn as he knows that i'm scarf if his landros is scarf we will know now if he goes into it so it was a good play Nope, decides to go Charizard. I do have a Lati for that, but if this is Dragon Dance one, then it would it would be really bad. It would be hella bad. I don't think this is Dragon Dance though. That's the thing. I mean, I don't think this is X. Yep, it's Y. Good, good, good. Adi can take this pretty well and ancient power okay buddy and i can just click psychic by mega evolving he doesn't really have a switch in against psychic unless clefable is calm or something special defense spell click flame throw we will take it pretty a uh, crate of course of course dude of course goes lando no way he clicks uh, stone edge here probably gonna u turn out so i can just go my zapdos landros being paralyzed will be really great come on stick it please work for once yes now my nido king is i mean now my nido king is a demon look at his team like uh Lati should still take any hit because that was a crit. Yep, it, unless it is also a crit. No, we took it pretty well. Now I can just recover again. If he goes Landros this turn, I can just ice beam it. Nope, it won't do any damage without sun. Another crit. Whoa, dude! Hold up, hold up. Come on. Yep, now he'll get a taste of ice beam from Latios, Mega Latios. One hit KO, easy, and it's gone. Great. Zapdos. I mean, I don't think it can. Really do anything? I can just click Ice Beam again. Hold switch here. Yeah. I mean, fine. Oh, 
suppose azumarel i do have a zapdos so i'm not worried about that azumarel I'll, even if it's belly drum i guess so he just decides to click aqua jet why would you even aqua jet a latios like what the heck dude what are you even trying to do I can go Pharaoh and get my stealth rocks up for the Charizard. Yep, he decides to go into it, but I do have a play in my back because I think my Latte might die. It could be a roll with this health. That's why I think I'll go my Azumarill on the incoming flamethrower and I can just acquire it. He has ancient power, so I don't think he will have boost. and he surrendered great 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 and i have to check at what time we are in the video it's been 13 minutes since i was back but uh okay. the earlier one was also 13 minutes how's it going everyone this is a yep I for sure yep so earlier one was also 13 minutes so i guess we can get another one and <laughs> didn't really get to see scrappy still <laughs> i mean i don't know man crafty i guess is not much of a sweeping pokemon i guess it can do something against some teams like i mean a trick room where a trick room team where dark type roles i mean have most of the Pokemon are weak to dark types. That kind of team can be handled or even a fast kind of team where we can get plus two that could be handled I guess. Here uh, he'll probably lead with his Metagross. I guess I should lead with my Zabdos. He decides to lead with his Mimikyu. That is fine. I can just hold switch even if he decides to SD up. Uh, I guess gonna just gonna go Parathon and then double to Zapdos. He Swords Dance again, okay buddy, okay buddy. I don't know what are you trying to do, but that is dangerous. <laughs> Oof. I can still wait, wait, what the heck? Wait. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. What? <laughs> what is going on here? Like, bro, come on, please, please be paralyzed. Wait, my Zapdos didn't die and it was crit? <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> what the heck happened that game? What? I mean, just what? Uh, he clicked SD like three times in a row and that still my Zapdos survived the play rough and like he missed his play rough, I missed my heat wave, I crit him in heat wave like I was not able to keep up but it, what was happening dude. I can mega evolve and just I guess psychic I mean why I don't know why he went into this roto. I really don't see a point but it's fine getting damage on this will be actually will be really good thunderbolt and uh, you want to thunderbolt a lati what like like i mean what just what And he's just sacks his Rotom. I 
I don't understand what this guy is trying to do literally we print plus freeze what the heck i mean just what the heck like bro are you serious right now uh talking of i guess its scarf could be good knocking off clapable is fine too rocky helmet so much crits in this game whoa i want to go hard hard nido king and just click uh, earth power on the metacross switch I mean, our power also to it gives this clapable. Yeah, I don't know why I decided to stay in, but okay. This game is literally blowing my mind right now. Zapdos is my sack. If he clicks on our power, great, I get my roost off. I hope decide to click ice beam and i think i go and azumare again and this time yes just uh, just echo jet i feel like he will stay no for superior okay uh i want to just uh, click uh this is this is hard this is hard looks like i have to sack something but i don't know what i should i feel like azumarill could be good against ditto with its priority and on the other hand crafty no no way crafty is not useful in this game unfortunately i have to sack this and Once again, Scrafty won't be able to do anything here. Can just knock off. Decides to leave Storm. Fine. I just keep clicking Poison Jab so he can get behind his substitute. Just decides to click Leaf Storm and I go my Nido King. Let's let's we don't not going to predict. Yep, that player gets knocked out. He can go Metagross, but I mean, I my Ferrothorn, which is free frozen, I can sack that. He has a Metagross and Ditto. Decides to go uh, Nido King. Flash Wave, great. Now I have a chance to maybe. unfreeze my ferrothorn unfreeze <laughs> thaw out my ferrothorn i think that's the right word thaw out my ferrothorn this game is so weird i mean it's even weird than that alomola game we had in the last video this is so weird i think it won't take me out bro. and i'm still frozen solid like dude come on Now I have to go Nido King and click Flame Throw and get this thing in range of Aqua Jet or something like that. Burn? Can we we see a burn? I mean, he we saw freeze. No, nope. unfortunately, no burn. I have to click Aqua Jet. No choice. Bullet Punch. Come on, knock this out, please, knock this out. Ah. This is so bad. I think I lost the game, unless he miss his like Echo Jet, his Zen Headbutt or Metagross. He misses Zen Headbutt or Bullet Punch. Don't think this will knock me out. Yeah, but he has a lot. He has a Ditto, so yeah, it's GG still.
I mean, he froze my Peloton. Crit, crit on Zapdos, I mean, it didn't really matter this Heat Wave crit on Mimikyu because it would have just knocked out in the Rocky Helmet damage next turn. I was planning to sack the Zapdos. It, it was it really much useful. It was, got sacked in the end, but I mean, that froze, turn one froze like, dude, seriously, are you kidding me right now? But I guess, uh, 22 and yeah, I think this is it gonna stop the video right here we saw four games i mean we played four games and in none of them scrafty they put in somewhere none literally nothing <laughs> and that's really really sad and funny at the same time but we do get to see azumarill latios and a chopper very ferathon but sometimes wait i think i forgot to put chopper very in this game yep and I think I even forgot to put Citrus Berry in this game. So yeah, after Bullet Punch, my Citrus Berry didn't get work, didn't work. Damn, I should have would have won if my Citrus Berry was active. Because it would have gotten active after the Bullet Punch and I would have survived the next Bullet Punch. Ah oh, my bad. Yes, it means that we technically <laughs> won all four games and lost the 4-1 because we forgot to put the items this is this this is actually kind of a bad mechanism that we have to put items again and again the one time usable items again and again on these pokemon i think it should be like that if we put an item it should stay on a pokemon till we are out of that item i mean we have to remove that item we will remove it right not like we will go and use that one time usable item to remove it we'll just click it and remove it yeah it should be like that but it is fine we would have won the last match did not unfortunately but got to see nidoking latios mega latios i think that is that pokemon put in the most of the work and i really like it it's a great set and Crafty, I think this is it for Scrafty. No more. I don't think I'll try anymore <laughs> to play with this thing. It's just, I guess, bad. I think uh, this can you be somewhat useful in in like uh, Gen 7 where are diverse Pokemons and but other than that, nah. Okay, so this is it. Thanks for watching. Like the like the video and comment uh, and comment how you like the team and also if you have any suggestions you can put them down in the comments as I and I and uh, yeah if you want me to use any Pokemon you can also put that down in the comments if I have one I will for sure make it and if you have one and I do and I don't you can provide me that will be that will be I mean best right. I mean you can lend me for using this that Pokemon in the video that will be best yeah subscribe the channel if you enjoy my content and I'll see you all next time goodbye